Good morning, Panthers, and welcome to PNN TV. It's so great to have you here. I'm Carter Mays. I'm Eric. And we're here to give you the morning news show. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Mulberry Middle School is dedicated to providing an environment wherein all students acquire the knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary to work cooperatively and to succeed in a changing society. Want to earn Panther Bucks to earn a trip to the AR store? If you meet the AR goal of two fiction and two nonfiction books on level at 80% or higher, you earn $100 in Panther Bucks. Plus, you earn $50 in Panther Bucks for each book on level that you get an 80% or higher on. And if you meet your assigned individual point goal, there will be a free treat at lunch. Your books are on sale for $38. Once they are sold, they are gone. SSA tutoring is on Wednesday from 4 to 5 in Miss Isom's room. Just a reminder that all students are responsible for reading four AR books for the third nine weeks. The top reading classes for January are Mrs. Bale's seventh period, Mrs. Caraba's fourth period, Mrs. Childress's sixth period, and Mrs. Weeks' first period. Serenades are being sold through February 6th. One world's finest chocolate bar will be sent with each serenade. Just a reminder that we do not celebrate Valentine's Day at school. Any candy or gifts will be confiscated. Good luck to our Math Counts team. They will be having a competition this Saturday. Good morning, Panthers. It's me, Carter Mays, and I have a quick question for you. Is this yours? Recently, we discovered that a lunchbox was missing and it needs to be reunited with its rightful owner. If you can name all the contents inside this lunchbox, it's yours. Thanks for listening, Panthers. This has been Carter Mays for PNN TV. Meet Dr. Brian Drucker. He and his team are taking on a really tricky blood cancer called acute myeloid leukemia, or AML for short, and they're making amazing progress. Let's ask Dr. Drucker why he pursued a career in science. I was learning about the cure of childhood cancer, which had gone from incurable with a life expectancy of 12 weeks to 95% curable. And it fascinated me, how was this possible? But also, how could we do better? How could we take a knowledge that was driving the growth of a cancer cell and use that to target it more specifically so we could develop more effective, less toxic treatments? And it was that innate curiosity about what was going on in our bodies that really led me into a career in science. Now, let's meet another rock star scientist. Dr. Ross Levine is working alongside Dr. Drucker to be at AML. They want to carefully match each patient to a treatment that would work the best for them. It's sort of like going to the shoe store and trying on shoes that are exactly the right size and color every time. You never have to try on shoes that are too big, too small, or your least favorite color. Researchers want to match the right treatment to the right patient, never too big or too small. So, what made Dr. Levine decide to be a scientist? I was always interested in science from when I was in grade school and all the way through high school and college. But it was really the idea that human disease was a scientific problem that needed more understanding that really ultimately fueled my desire to both blend an interest in science and medicine in my career. Being a scientist isn't easy. So why do these researchers love their jobs so much? The great thing about being a scientist, you get to answer the biggest questions, like why does something work? How do our bodies work? How do we help fix them? And those are big, big, unimaginable questions, but as scientists, we get to work on them, we get to solve those problems. So Dr. Drucker likes investigating big questions. So Dr. Levine, what can kids do now if they want to be scientists in the future? The most important thing they can do is ask why. Ask questions, observe, and always be curious. Because curiosity and ideas and originality is the spirit on which we build everything we do in science. There you have it. Curiosity, asking questions, investigating, and wondering why. Those are the first steps to becoming a scientist.
How do you think the soccer team's going to do this year? Um, They're going to do great. Last year, the only team you guys didn't win against was Lakeland Highlands. How do you think you're going to do against them this year? I think we're going to do better than we did last year. How do you think the soccer team's going to do this year? Uh, I think they're going to play good, and if they work together, then we might win all the games like last year. How do you think the soccer team's going to do this year? Good, because there's a lot of good players. Thanks for tuning in, Panthers. It's been great having you here. This has been Carter Mays. I'm Eric. For PNN TV, have a great day. Good morning, Dude, oh, Panthers. Oh, my God. The smell is burning my eyes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Panthers. It's been great having you here. This has been Carter Mays. I'm oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I